Eight, two, baby. Day one, Lake Fork. This is one of those exciting ones because you could literally catch like a 12 or 13 pounder anywhere. You catch it in a foot of water, you catch it in 42 foot of water. Like 11 pounders, 12 pounders. Somebody's gonna catch a really, really big one this week. Like probably over 11. So maybe it'd be me. That just, it makes it cool to fish a place like this, even though this is a very small lake and you know, gets a lot of fishing pressure. So it's hard to catch them, but there's some, a lot of really, really big ones in here. Like a ton of four pluses in this lake. So we're gonna fish our strengths about half the day. Well, I think we're gonna fish our strengths for eight hours, but we're gonna mix it up between three different things and hopefully smash. Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 20 pounds, 15 ounces. How are you feeling about that? Uh, well, it felt like a struggle out there all day. When I got back, I found out it definitely was a struggle. But luckily, you know, seeing all that big weight, it doesn't really discourage me. It makes me feel like, you know, that's, that's how many big ones are out there. So tomorrow, we just got to string it together and make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.
What are you going to catch today? 45-3. So, yesterday on Instagram, you said that you would not be mad at 20. So, are you not mad at 20? I'm not mad at 20, but I am not happy with 20 at all. Definitely needed to be in the 25 range or more. You know, you can't more than 25 you got to just have some something crazy happen really but you know that happens for you know some people every single day where they catch two like eight pounders but you know half of my my whole game plan worked you know i started on some big bed fish that were not there anymore so i caught a big male and i went to another couple bed fish and then another like seven or eight pounder was not there so caught another big male then i started throwing a swim jig down the bank and caught some then i went out and did the whole scoping deal only caught one four and a half pounder doing it i think i got my rotation messed up definitely going to switch things up today and start out scoping because i feel like that's the best chance of catching a big one so we're going to do that and then we're going to just kind of go fishing you know usually whenever you have like in practice you know you got less pressure you you catch them you know so that's what we're going to do today we're just going to kind of mill around and Mix it up back and forth, back and forth, scoping shallow, scoping shallow, and run into one of those big ones, and it'll it'll make our entire week here. So, looking for an eight pounder. I have fish fork now. How many times have we been here? This is the fourth time. Third. Third time. Maybe four. Fourth time. I have never brought a fish in. Oh. So we need to do that today. We need to catch us one of them twenty fours today. So that's kind of the goal so for what? today or that's tomorrow. Who said they called a nine nine that was twenty three? Is that Um Somebody Somebody said that yesterday. They called it they called Was it Caleb? No, Caleb had an eight twelve that was twenty three. And then somebody brought in a seven fourteen. That was a twenty four, I think. Hey. So it really just depends. Just, you don't know. Yep. Just depends on how long they are. But uh What is your like, are you astonished at the leaderboard? Not really. I saw that potential coming after practice. I just couldn't get enough bites doing it. That's the reason I started shallow is because I thought I could go catch, I thought I could go catch like 23 or 24 shallow and get some breathing room or just catch a couple big ones shallow and then get, you know, and then go out scoping and try to catch two more at the end of the day. But uh, I think that bites way better in the morning. I thought it was in practice. I just, you know, when you've got, <clears throat> when you've got a six and a seven and a 414 male all within like 20 feet of each other you kind of got to start there i feel like so started there and they got a little squirrely didn't catch them i well, only only caught one of them so changing it up today it's sad you said yesterday that there's gonna be some people on track for a belt that don't even get to fish yeah there's gonna be some people that are definitely on track for 100 pounds that do not get to go how many belts do you think there'll be at least 10 10, 10. <laughs> yeah or I'll, I'll say i'll say there'll be eight or nine so we gonna see i mean there's people that caught four yesterday that caught you know 28 29 four fish that's what we gotta do we gotta hunt down for a couple of those if we catch a couple of those big ones you know i've got enough bed fish on the bank where i could go fill out a limit of three and a half four pounders i feel like you know you're not in the commercial for fast fast that's what i was wondering don't make no sense bro i, I know What was your key set up yesterday? Key set up yesterday. What I catch the most of them on? I caught the most fish on a swim jig. But probably, I don't know what I call the most. Probably a swim jig, yeah. Is there a difference in bed fishing in Texas and bed fishing in Florida? Yeah. These fish in Texas are the most aggressive bed fish I've ever fished for in my entire life. So it's quicker? Yeah. Here in Santee. And the water's not as clear? Water is that it's clear in some places. The places where I've bed fished is really clear. It's not as clear as like Ricky's house. No, that's it. It's clear in the springs in Florida. It's almost too clear. It makes them get real finicky in the springs. Right, I'm sorry. That's where Elite Series made a top 10 in his first Elite Series event from Kentucky. This second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series is held for a fast greatest.
ones would be awesome. But, you know, most places. I was really surprised. Yeah. Any pictures of them? I saw it was three quarters. I saw it. <laughs> I screwed up so bad yesterday. Like I could for sure could have won this one. I could or could at least had a shot. You like, got a shot. I fished so stupid yesterday. Yeah, but like I should have had another at least five or eight pounds yesterday. Needed that. Gosh. I'm first, ready. First bite was a 714. My hands are so cold that I'm trying to grab it and I can't. Finally, just like my, my hand goes in his mouth like that. I freaking got it. Thank you. That's what he wants to be I bet I know. Tell him what you want to be when you grow up, buddy. Batman. Finally got it back on track. 
much needed momentum for the year. Really struggled and did not fish well for the first three competition days, but we're gonna make day three in this one finally. So starting to like Lake Fork a little bit. I had one break me off today in a brush pile and I like it was just worms sitting on the bottom dude. And it finally started easing off and I leaned into it and it went straight head shaking and the brush broke me off. I mean, it could have been a five pounder, you know? But, yeah, but you catch that one five pounder and you go from 20 to 23. Well, I didn't need a five, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. it could have been a five pounder. I'm just saying, you know? Okay, you guys are on this one. Thank you. Let me know. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, Mark Marmer. Thank you. God, I mean, that was like the longest Look at his one. Eyes. I thought it was a car. He is your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. And man, what a performance today. 33 pounds and two ounces, giving him 54 pounds and an ounce. You move all the way up to 10th place. And man, that is a great day of bass fishing. Yeah, you know, without a doubt, the last three competition days of the year so far, I've just made a lot of mental mistakes and got rushed. And today was kind of the first day that I settled in. And obviously, this is a really good lake to do that on because we caught 33 pounds. So nothing like a giant bag like that to get the year back on track. It's great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Day three. Day three. First day three. First day three of 2024. What about? Need to go smash them again. Need like 35 to make the top 10. All right, I guess I bumped my head yesterday morning or something and remembered how to catch a fish. So finally made a day three cut of 2024. We missed the first one terribly, but that's okay. You know, things are going to be like that sometimes. You can't always control everything and make it happen. But Lake Fort, what a better place than to get it back on track than here with 33 pounds. Caught two over seven and a 612 yesterday. So need some more of that today. You know, I, the big females are sitting in one type of an area now, and I feel like whenever you can get five of them to bite they're typically really fat females i mean some of them are four and a half pounds some of them are ten and a half pounds you just got to catch me as you can today i feel like the key is generating 10 to 15 bites a day if you can do that you will have some of those really really big ones
eight two, baby. Uh, 14 so that's 1914 24 25 5 36 is that what it says in there I pulled up out there to a place where I, I had missed a big one two days in a row and I saw it I saw another one out there and I threw to it and it bit oh awesome no it's a 5 1 my smallest fish is already 5 1 but leave that first he is the reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Had a big day today, 30 pounds, 6 ounces, gives you 84.7, and right now you're sitting in fifth place, so a great finish whatever way you look at this one. Yeah, you know, definitely going to be a good one, especially after how I started off the tournament. I just was kind of hard-headed the first day and didn't make adjustments, and whenever you're on a lake this good, like, you have to be moving with the fish because there's big ones everywhere, and the only thing that kind of breaks my heart is... I missed out barely on the century belt last year at St. Lawrence River, and I'm like 15 and a half pounds away from it right now. I'm not going to be able to go tomorrow, most likely. So this lake is just phenomenal. I really wish I could get out there and chase them around one more day. Always awesome to have you here.